Uh, hi, how you doing? This is uh, a Capricorn reading, Capricorn Tarot reading for June 22nd, your daily reading. Uh, then, I really hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, let's get into the reading. I get the King of Cups, the Seven of Wands again. Hmm. What else we get? Take that or just skip that, but either way. Um, uh, hi, how you doing, Capricorn? This is your daily reading for June um, June 22nd. I really hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, for your reading, I get the King of Cups, uh, the King of Cups, the Seven of Wands, and the Ten of Swords in reverse. You might be in this situation, some rocky waters, situation you really feel uh, uncomfortable in. Uh, but you're keeping your cool, calm mind, you know, as Capricorns, whenever we're going through shit, it's kind of like, you know, all you, got, you all, all you can do is breathe, you know. Uh, <laughs> with the King of Cups, I really think uh, you're having your emotions under control. However, it seems like you are looking for a compatible partner, uh, somebody who meets your values, somebody who meets your standards. With the King of Cups, uh, I get this um, energy of... Uh, love glowing outside of you uh you being a loving person as you are even though people might be putting you through shit um there is um th there is uh, also this thing of you sitting in your power you know capricorns it's really hard for people to rock us and yeah especially with this uh situations that are going by uh, i see a, a, a boat sailing you know in the back you know a boat coming in um there is um there's a situation that you know you you um you're probably expecting for a, a savior to come through and that ship is coming in but you know with the rocky waters it might take a minute or two to get there uh excuse me with the seven of pen with the seven of wands I get this energy of you feeling like you have to defend yourself and defend your ground because it feels like you're in an uncomfortable situation and you have to stand up for yourself, you know. And I see that happening. And uh, with the, uh, it, it also seems like you might be on the pedestal, you know, people might be trying to pull you down, uh, people just trying to go against you, people just trying to take up your spot. But at the same time, if you take up my spot, you know, you're are still fighting for the same spot. It's like a bunch of people just trying to get what you are. Well, there's only space for one person and uh, on this shit, I don't know, man. It's going to be conf the conflict to be you, but nobody can be you other than you, you know. The best way for pe these people to shine through is them being themselves. Um, with the Ten of Swords in reverse, uh, you might be feeling like there's a situation, like I'm saying, it makes you feel uncomfortable. It makes you feel... Um, that sense of uncomfortableness, but it's not getting to you, you know, those swords are being pulled out in the river, it's kind of like, I'm not faced by it, because I know who I am, with the king of cups, I know my values, you know, me interfering with other people's worlds, that's that's not my uh, that's not my responsibility, whatever's going on outside of me, let it go outside, you know, and you might be feeling really this sense of, um, People just want to stab you in the back. Like, that's the energy I'm getting. People want to go against you in the best way they could. People want to have what you have. But it's like, it don't phase you. Because you have this abundance coming in for you. And it goes from the Ten of Swords in reverse to the Queen of Wands. This energy of healing, you know, you, you have this shining energy, this healing power, this uh, nurturing, this motherhood energy. And it's kind of like you're really putting it on pause to just restore it to yourself, you know. Like, I've been giving enough to everybody. I've been healing everybody's world quite enough. I've been playing a part in everybody's world, you know, giving off energy, just really being somebody in your world. 
I need to be a person in mind too, you know. Uh, with the Queen of Wands, I get this person who um, whose ideas, whose plans, who plans, strategizes, and it's like uh, I'm putting that on pause right now, you know. Uh, it's like less thinking, more enjoying myself. Um, th there is there is this energy of you. Um, you. Why is it? It comes off. People wanna people wanna team up around you. And it's like, no, <laughs> the fuck we won't. Uh, people want to really, um, there is this, uh, people want to make you a part of their team. And it's like, no, not right now, you know, it's, it's, it's not right now, you know. And with the Nine of Pentacles, you're feeling abandoned by yourself. You're good off by yourself. You're standing in your power. Like I said, King of Cups, your emotions are intact. Your abundance is really there for you you know you're enjoying yourself enjoying your moments and with the ace of cups uh, followed by the knight of swords i get this energy of you following your opportunities you following your chances you know that's the best way to say it it's like these people these people are trying to gather up a team but they're running away from the goal they're running away from the plan you know however with the ace of soul with the ace of wands and the knight of um the ace of wands and the knight of the knight of uh swords there is this um there is this energy of uh, how would i say it there is a something that's coming for you uh you could be um uh, an, an idea a project uh something that sparks a light in you something that makes you happy and you're going after that and there's a balance on top of that you're feeling happy you're feeling in your power you're feeling self-centered you know your ego it might be uh, your ego with a with the Queen of Wands, I don't think your ego is an issue, you know. I think your ego is under control in terms of uh, I'm not really uh, trying to be a part of that. I'm just trying to keep to myself, you know. It's like you're enjoying yourself shining through, walking through your garden, you know. You might be needing to also just take a, a, a quick walk outside, you know. Um, just, 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 you know, just, yeah, your ego might be needing to shine through right now because people be trying to stab you in the back. Hey, you got to do what you got to do. I don't know. Um, with the nine of pentacles, I really, I see you looking happy with yourself, you know. It might just be meaning you need to meditate on yourself. Just be happy, have gratitude of what you have around you. Just um, really enjoy what you have around you because what you have around you is the best you can have around, you know. You're being blessed by the universe by being you. And with the fool and the hermit to the temperance, to the... Yeah, I really think people might be trying to take advantage of you because Capricorns, let's, let's admit it. We have this glow, we have this energy, we have this um, shining through light, you know. And with the full card, it's like, I'm happy to be uh, me and I'm enjoying these new moments. I'm enjoying these new lands. I'm enjoying uh, what I have around me, Nine of Pentacles. It's like I'm moving forward to be myself, to be more of myself. Yes, moving forward might cause you to feel some type of way. Like I said, you get this Ten of Swords. It's still Ten of Swords. It's still people trying to stab you in the back. People trying to leave you in the cold. People trying to, you know, abandon you. But with the Five of um, with the Five of Cups, kind of like. I'm, I'm, I get this energy of uh, walking away and chasing your, uh, chasing your destiny, chasing your calling, chasing your worth, chasing something that's meant for you. And with the Five of Cups, it's it, you can't cry over spilled milk, but you need this moment to cry over the loss. You know, you need you might have lost something or somebody in your life, or you might even have lost people in your life. It's like shed a tear for them, but drink that shit up because that's that's h2o plus salt you know in its own form why the fuck would i waste a tear you know uh with the temperance card i really think uh, you might need to bring back to balance yourself uh, your emotions and your um your emotions and your abundance you know the way you uh there's a need for balance in your life uh there's a need for you to try out new things there's a need for you to uh, go to new lands uh experience things in the new light um just walk out in the field you know you know like how we people haven't well this is america people haven't really woke up like at six or five in the morning to just go for a walk i rarely see that happen you might be needing that you know that experimenting that trying new shit to just get a new feeling you know and with the two of swords i get this energy of you feeling like um you gotta you gotta cut something off or you are feeling like um some sort of um 
protective of your energy, you know, deciding what you let in and what you, you let out, you know, you controlling your feelings and your energy. And uh, really what I'm saying for you is you chasing what's meant for you. And with the eight of swords, I get this energy of, um, it feels like you're tied up in a situation where, you know, you can't get yourself out of, but easily you're going to walk away with a victory. And also you're going to release all the buttons and walk away from situations that no longer fulfill you. Basically, by you walking away, by you just doing your thing, by you feeling your abundance, it makes you really, um, it makes you, how would I put it? It makes you get out of your head. It makes you, um, it makes you shine. It makes you, it makes you yourself. And yes, you, you might feel like you're tied up. You can't move. You can't uh, freely express yourself. You can't shine your light. No, you can't. You really can. You just got to get off. You got to get that bandage off your head. You really got to be you. And because you're really going to walk away with a victory. And with the Ten of Swords, no, with the Ten of Wands, I feel like you need to release something. You need to release some burden, some some uh, energy that's around you. Yeah.